botany which is a field of biology that deals with the scientific study of plant life is botany a good career yes botany is a good career for all those students who really have an interest in flora and plant life so with this multiple prospects you can just involve yourself in plant analysis plant experiments plant research as well as environmental studies so here we will be talking about what is the scope of botany as well as its career aspects so let's talk about it in detail so coming to the scope of botany first you will see you will find many fields where you can involve yourself so once you complete your masters in botany there are a variety of opportunities or you can say field where you can just apply and get a job so these are all career opportunities that you have so what are the field let's see it so first is the educational institute so if you want to get enroll yourself as a lecturer or a professor so you can work in any of the educational institute as a professor of botany The second is agriculture or forestry. You can work in any agriculture department or you can say forest department. The third is biotechnology. You can also work as a biotechnologist where you will be dealing with the plant biotechnology subject. The fourth is environmental protection where you can deal with the protection of environment and wildlife. The fifth is plant genetics research where you can deal with the research of plant and associated genes. So you can just go into a lab and work for this plant genetics. The fifth is food industry you can also involve yourself in food industry as you have studied botany so that will be related to some kind of plant and food industry the next is lichenology as well as cytology so if you have an interest in lichens specifically so you can go for this branch as well the next is economic botany where you have to deal with all other plant species as well as its importance the next is phycology as well as palynology Here, if you have an interest in algae and all, so you can go for this field. The next is bryology as well as ethnobotany. So this uh, field mainly deals with the study of bryophytes. So if you want to study about bryophytes more and all its reproduction and everything, if you want to get job, so you can go for this bryology field. The next is phytochemistry that deals with the chemistry. Uh, you can say the chemical substances that are involved in plants. so you can go for this job opportunity as well that is in the field of phytochemistry the next is involving in nurseries as well as forestry you can also get a job into phyto phytopathology field where you will be dealing with the plants or you can say the uh, all pathogens that are associated with plants and causing infections that is what called as phytopathology you can also go for a job at plant anatomy and physiology specifically agronomy also if you have an interest in the cultivation of plants fruits means you have a love with horticulture so you can go for this job the next is plant ecology and plant systematics where you will be dealing with the job where you have to learn about the interrelated plant species along with their evolutionary significance the next is drug companies you can also go for a drug companies like you will be doing a job where all the chemicals that are isolated from plants and they are used as a chemotherapeutic agent you can just say as a therapeutic drug so you can also involve yourself in any drug companies the next is you can also work in any of the biotechnology firms as well as the biological supply houses so these are all fields or you can say from where you can apply for a job and get into any professional aim the next is career aspects now what is the career aspects here career aspects means what job you can get what role or job you will be assigned after studying this bsc or msc in botany or any kind of masters program so you will be appointed as a research assistant so suppose if you want to get enrolled for any kind of research experiment so you can get enrolled for a research assistant junior research fellow senior research fellow so once you complete your junior research fellow you will be upgraded for srf so firstly you have to appoint for research assistant or grf next is lecturer or professor like we have seen you can be uh, getting a job in educational institute so you can be appointed as a lecturer or a professor the next is technical assistant you can also work as a technical assistant in any of the lab scientific assistant you can work as field assistant if you want to study for plants and all if you want to visit to wheels fields so you can just work as a field assistant here data analyst means you have to analyze the data for all these experiments so you can also work as a data analyst you can also work as a plant explorer conservationist ecologist weed scientist weed scientist means that specifically deals with the study of weeds and all 
weeds means unwanted plants that grow along with the main plants you can also work as a environment consultant horticulturist means we have seen you can work in a field called as horticulture and those who work in that field is called as horticulturist so you can work as this molecular biologist where you have to deal with uh, experiments specifically with the molecular and you can say the molecular level or you can say the plant genes involved project manager you can take up any project and you can work as a project manager environmental or safety specialist you can also get a job as environmental or safety specialist related to botany field quality control officer so you can work in a qc department as well foresters you can work as a forester means you will be working in a forestry or agriculture department or you can say just forest department the next is chemical biologist you can work where you will be dealing with the chemicals that are isolated from plants and that are used as a therapeutic agent taxonomist you will be working as a taxonomist where you will be dealing with the plant systematics as we have seen in the scope and also paleobotanist so these are all the career aspects means here we are talking about the job profiles that you will be getting after studying this botany field specifically either you are pursuing your bachelor's or master's so you will be involved in all these fields so if you are studying your phd in botany if you are getting that phd degree so you will be uh, getting the job like scientific assistant or you will get a job like scientist so you can work as a scientist there but if you are doing msc so all these are job profiles and roles and scope we have seen what all fields you can go for and apply for a job now coming to the what are the top government uh, companies that are there in india what are the top recruiters in the field of botany so here are some government companies which are the top recruiters the first is the bsi which stands for botanical survey of india that specifically deals with the study of plants the next is national institute of oceanography that also studies or deals with experiments in the field of botany the third is iari everyone knows and the synonym you can see the iari indian agricultural research institute means that it specifically deals with the research in the field of agriculture the next is icfre that is stands for indian council of forestry research and education again you can see this is about the research as well as education so you can get a job here as well next is moaf which is a top government company that is stands for the ministry of environment and forest the next is teri that is t e r i that is stands for the energy and resource institute so these are all government companies or you can see the top recruiters so you can get all these jobs that we have discussed in the career aspects in all these top companies the next is wpsi which stands for wildlife protection society of india where you have to deal with the protection of all the end, uh, plant species which are about to extinct and all so you have to take care of all those plants and you have to work for it so you will be getting a job uh, associated with this wpsi whatever jobs will be available so you can just apply for this government companies after studying uh, msc in botany the next is wti that is wildlife trust of india and the last is indian environmental society so these are just the government recruiters where you can work and get a job in as a career aspect that we have discussed and also as scope we have discussed so you can get any of the jobs in this government companies coming to the top private companies in india india so what are the top private companies that are present in india and you can apply for this post so if you want to work as a taxonomist in a private companies in india so better to go for kagal so kagal is one of the private companies in india where you can appoint as a taxonomist so here we are talking about the job profile so you can just appoint as a taxonomist in a kagel uh, company the next is dorshin limited where you can appoint yourself as a environmentalist so once you are done with your msc in botany or bachelor's so just you can go for this private company and apply for a environmentalist post the third is sun pharma so everyone knows sun pharma industries limited which is a top company so you can also work as a microbiologist after completing this botany field and you can work for this sun pharma company and you'll get a job there now what are the top companies that are present specifically in abroad so we have talked and talked about this uh, private companies in india now we are talking about what are the top companies that are present in abroad so that you can uh, get a job there in uh, in the field of botany we can say the first is fruit and arm industry so this is one of the industry where you can get a job after studying this msc in botany the next is indazo aroma this is the next company where you can apply the third is synergy flavors the fourth is halden 
Pacific Semestra, the fifth is Calsec. So all these companies, you can just forward your resume to the HR and manager and you just uh, apply for this and you will get a job after you complete your master's in botany. So all these jobs that I'm saying that career expects and scope, you will be getting in all these India companies that is private or government sectors and also in the top companies that I've uh, mentioned here in abroad. So all you have to do, you have to just mail your resume, your CV. Accordingly, you have to mention your field like in what field you are interested in and accordingly you will be hired for this job. Now, what are the best countries to get the job overseas? Now, just now we have seen what are the top companies that are present in India. Abroad, we have seen the scope as well as the career aspects. Now, what countries you have to select after pursuing your MSc in Botany so that you can get a job overseas. So, the first is Malaysia. You can go for Malaysia. If not, you can go for USA. The third is UK. The fourth is Denmark. The fifth is Germany. The sixth is Sweden and the last is Ireland. So all these countries are called as the best countries from where you get a job overseas. Means once you complete your MSc in Botany, you'll get a job here. So these are all about the scope of Botany and career aspects where we have seen the scope of Botany, like what all fees that are present and where you can apply. And the next we have seen career aspects, what jobs or roles you will be assigned after completing your MSc in Botany. The third is what are the top recruiters, what are the top government companies where you can apply. And if you wish to work in any of the private companies in India, so you can go for all three options. If you want to work abroad, if you are looking for a job opportunity overseas, so here are some top companies that are present abroad and if you are looking for a best country to go there and get your job so these are all seven countries that i have listed here so you can go accordingly and apply for it so this is about the scope of botany and career aspects so i i I hope the information that I shared is helpful and if you find that it is helpful and beneficial for all of you students who have pursued their masters and bachelors in botany. So do like, share and subscribe to our channel Biotechnica. Meet you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Happy learning.